Now, if you use the internet, you have probably heard about Notion, right? Within the past few years, so many more people have been talking about Notion because it's such a great tool for pretty much anyone to use. Whether you use it for a budget tracking, whether you use it for day-to-day -day planning, or just like anything in between, it's a good multi-purpose software for anyone. So in today's video, we're gonna see how to actually design these Notion templates. That's gonna be the first topic. So firstly, we have to design this one. And of course, the next topic is gonna be how and where to sell these templates. And of course, some of the keywords which are gonna help us. Keywords are really important because you can see which ones are profitable and which ones are not. So let's just go with the step number one. First of all, of course, if you don't have an account, just go and get Notion, it's free. You can design for free, just continue with your email address. And right away when you're inside of this, this is gonna be your dashboard. Now, a lot of people are just going over to these templates as you can see here, but in this video, I don't wanna use templates because sometimes I've noticed that it can be just too much for beginners. So I'm just gonna make this like as beginner friendly as possible and you can see that you've got all of these like tasks, to-do lists, now different features, different things like social media calendar, which can be really useful for some people, but let's just go with the blank page. And this is something that it's gonna be better for you right now to understand how all of this works. So just click on the new page here. And after that, you will just have to like name it. I'll just use something like a weekly planner or something. You can just follow along and make it yourself. So I'm just gonna go with like weekly planner. I'm just gonna go and hit the enter key right away. And you can see that this box is now like moving out of the like front homepage. So if you wanna design in full, you can just click on this one. So open in full page. Now we've got our weekly planner. Now you have the commands and you can always like move the mouse here and click on the plus icon. Alternatively, you can just type the forward slash because it's just way, way more faster. Once you get the hang of it, you will always use the forward slash. Just some experience is needed. Until then, of course, you can always just use this plus icon and then just you have all of these things that you can choose to input in your design right now. Now, if you click with here, if you just move, hover the mouse here, you can see that you can add icons to the top, all right? Then you can just add the covers and add the comments. Now, if you wanna add the cover, that is what I always do on my templates, just click on the button and it'll give you just like default one, but you can always change the cover by just clicking here on change cover. And then you can just choose like, for example, simple color gradient, or you can just choose some of these like pictures which are pre-picked for you, or you can upload your own picture by clicking on the upload file here. You can see they're connected to Unsplash as well. So you can just choose something which is relevant to your niche, to the template that you are trying to create. So I'm just gonna now leave this like it is now. I'm gonna add a few simple things which go into this weekly planners, such as, for example, to-do list, or maybe some habit trackers, because I've seen that habit trackers are selling really well online. Now, first of all, first lesson is to add a column. Column is always needed in these planners, budget trackers, or whatever. In order to make the column, just hit that forward slash or the plus icon and just start typing in columns. So I wanna make this like for five days in a week, so Monday through Friday, so I'm just gonna go with five columns. Now, these are just gonna be like somewhat invisible, but if you click on them, you will see that they are here. Okay, so five of these columns. If you move this mouse, you can see them all here right on the screen. So if you click, and especially if you click on these like six dots button, you can get a lot of options. Now, first of all, you can just choose the color. I always do the background for this. So you can choose, I don't know, yellow background. This is something that I regularly use and you can just do that for all of these other ones. So color, move this yellow background and then do this for all of these other ones. Okay, so just get those backgrounds. So now it is easier to see for us. Now, click on the dots once more. Now here, if you wanna delete the column, click on the delete, okay? Everybody knows that. If you wanna duplicate this one, so if, for example, I wanna get like Saturday and Sunday as well, just click on the duplicate. But you need to name this. In order to do that, click on the plus icon here, and then just to choose one of these headings. 
Heading 3 is best for this one now because it's a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to go with Monday. So it's going to be like that. Now you just go and proceed to do all of these other ones. So it's going to be Tuesday now. And then you do that for all of the days. Now you can see there are some problems. The background is gone and there is a letter Y down there. Don't worry. Notion can be like, I don't know, people are afraid of it, but everything can be fixed. All right. Don't worry about it. Firstly, you see this letter annoying, right? Now you can always do this. You can just move this and change the size of each one of these columns in particular. But if you want to resize all of it, you have if you hover the mouse here, you have this. So at the beginning, you can just choose to stretch this for as much as you would like. All right, so you can stretch this through the whole screen if you want. Now, let's just address the covers. They disappeared. So now just select this text. And when you just select the text, it's going to open this like top menu. All right. So you can just choose a lot of options here, such as bolding. You can change the fonts. Actually, you can't change the fonts here. The fonts changing is here on these three dots at the top. And then you can just select one of these. But the cover now selected and then click on these three dots and then just move here to color and then just choose that yellow background. If you'd like do this for all of the other ones, of course, as I've told you, select this, click on three dots, click on the color, choose the background and it's done. So that's the first step. All right. Designing a few things, entering headings, making columns. Now, since this is a weekly planner and I've done like multiple of these, and a lot of people are doing well, what they mostly do is that they just make certain to do lists. These are pretty popular. In order to do that, just hit that forward slash again. Just start tapping to do. And of course, you've got to do list here. Click on it and you will get a certain checkbox. Now, of course, you want to reposition this so you can always just click and hold your mouse click in order to move these. All right. And because we need multiple of these, you can just click on it. And for example, I've just named this like to do list for each one of these. And then I'm just going to select this one or click on these three dots and click on duplicate. You have a shortcut here, which is control plus D. So you can just go and then just hit D multiple times until you just make a lot of these Then just move your cursor here in here. You just add more of these name them once more. So to do list, let's just do it like that and then just duplicate more of these until you fill all of this. And there it is. This is your Monday to Friday to do list. Of course, you're just going to leave it like to do list. Everyone would just take your template, pay for it, of course, and they will just edit it in the way that they want. So whatever they want to do on that list. Now, if you want to just spice it up, you can always just like put an image in there. So just forward slash image. And you can, for example, choose on splash and take something which is relevant to your niche. So, for example, let's just take this one and then you can, for example, separate some of these columns. So it just looks better. You can resize this, of course, in a way that you want. It's sometimes slow. And of course, you can move this picture. So you can just click on these three dots and move this picture, for example, here. So. For example, this is your like design or something like that. Be free like to play with this. It's always nice to have some colors and it's always nice. She just looks way more beautiful, right? Now, the next step and we've talked about it are these habit trackers. I noticed that they just sell really well on Etsy, for example. But if you don't want to use Etsy, you can just use whatever you want. You can use Squarespace, Shopify or maybe even Gumroad, whatever you want. But in order to create these, you have to hit forward slash and then just choose table view. Just type in table, sorry for this table and get this table view. All right, table view when you click on it, you will get it down there. Now, first of all, you have to select data source and it's going to be new database. All right. If you want to get the habit tracker now, you can just name it, for example, habit tracker. Let's just do it like that. And then you just have to name these. Now I'm just going to go with some, I don't know, regular ones, like for example, read book. Second one is going to be like take vitamins. And the third one can be exercise, let's say. Now, you don't need these tags. You can just make these like lower or smaller. But what do you need? Well, we need a new property here on this column here. So click on this plus icon and then just select this checkbox. All right, we need checkbox. Now just type in firstly Monday and hit the enter key. And then you can just click on duplicate property. So we get more of these. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six and seven depends if you want to get through like the weekend. Now we just have to change this. For example, we have to change the name to Tuesday and of course all the other days. Now you can see that this doesn't look too beautiful. So what I like to do is that I just shrink down these weekdays. So I do it like until I can see only the checkbox. All right, people will know it. People will just like feel what it is. They can always like drag this out to see what it is, of course, and you will just get that into specifications. But now this looks more neat. All right, they can put tags. You can even like delete this one if you don't want delete property. So you are just left with the checkbox. Now you can move this, of course, whenever you want. And what is really cool for me is that you can just click on this plus here. If you want to add another one instead of this, like you can move, of course, all of these as well. But if you click the three buttons here, go over to icons and then you have a lot of these emojis, a lot of icons. And for example, I just want to search books and for the vitamins, I just want to go and take this like pill. And then for the exercise, you can just go to icons and search for it. So I don't know, gym or something like that, or type in weights or dumbbell, whatever you want to do. So now it looks like more beautiful. All right. Now there's a ton of things and I wouldn't go over all of these. There's a lot of like specific things, specific tutorials where they learn you how to use codes, how to use all these things that can get you like better lists to do. But this is for beginners, your simple notion template. So if you want to make it for yourself or sell it, you can start this way and just feel free to explore. And then of course, head over to notion slash templates. Notion templates can be sold for huge amount of money, especially if you just get viral with these, for example, you can always build on top of these free ones. But of course, you've got these that you have to pay for. That is what you are going to do. Now the prices are going to range and there are multiple sources. There is this one, which is called like notion joy. And here they're a bit more complicated, but they're more expensive as well. You can see some of these go with like $150. And the last one is notion marketplace.com. Now this one is a pretty good one, but as I've told you, you can always go over to Etsy.com where they just sell like crazy. All right. People just come to Etsy for all sorts of things. And Etsy has a lot of traffic on its own. But if you've got your own traffic, if you've got something like Instagram theme page, or you've got a lot of Facebook traffic or YouTube traffic, where you are in the position to just redirect that traffic. Well, I suggest just opening your own e-commerce store on Shopify on Gumroad or something like that. Shopify is really great for it because first three months, you can just pay $1 per month. And that is pretty cool for me. Then of course, the next option is for you to go over to Fiverr and create yourself a gig in order to make these customized ones. As you can see, people are like charging for one page $25. All right, so it's good money here. So you've got a lot of places to sell these. But of course, the last thing that we want to address are these keywords. Now have a look at this on Etsy. This is a trick that not a lot of people know about. If you just go over and you just type in notion, you will get all of these search results. So these are all keywords, the phrases that people are searching for. And Etsy is kind enough to show you that. So people are searching for notion template, notion planner, Notion Life Planner, Notion Template Student, Student Planner, Finance, Template Business Icons, Template All in One. And now all you got to do is to name your templates in these names. All right. With these titles, of course, firstly, you have to create those, but just use this keyword search bar in order to get yourself really good title. So you can just rank higher. All right. It's not hard. You will have to invest time and effort in order to create these. But if you love to do that, if this is something that you can choose to live off, if you choose to sit down and make these templates, it can be a really good income for you. So I wish you good luck, work hard on it, and I'll catch you.